Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to discuss the Shell model in aviation. The Shell model was developed by Sir Elwin Edwards in 1972, and later on, it was modified by Frank Hawkins in 1975. A question can be asked, why there is a need of Shell model? Actually Shell model helps us in understanding the scope of human factors. Also, interaction between humans and other components of the aviation system. The term shell refers to software, hardware, environment, and liveware. It can be seen from the diagram of this model that liveware is placed in the center and the other components are around it. It gives a simple representation that liveware interacts with all the other components. Now, let us see what these different components mean here. Software here includes procedures, rules and regulations. Hardware includes tools, test equipment and instruments. Environment includes physical environment of workplace, like temperature, lighting level, noise level, time of the day. Lastly, liveware includes humans in the aviation system, like technician, engineer, supervisor or manager. Human Factors concentrates on the interaction between the liveware and other components of the shell model. From a safety viewpoint, that is where they can be deficient, like misinterpretation of procedures, lack of tools, inadequate workplace, and shortage of manpower. We understand from the diagram that in order to prevent the accidents, all the components must match the liveware in the center. Since, we cannot alter the human's beings, but we can alter the components, so that they adapt with the liveware. Because, mismatch between the liveware and other components, can lead to an accident. Now, let's see the interaction between the different components. First is the interaction between liveware and software. It is the interaction between humans and non-physical supporting systems. Like, how humans interpret the checklists, rules and regulation. Mismatch in this type of interaction can happen due to misinterpretation of documents, manuals, checklists, or inappropriate procedures. Next is the interaction between liveware and hardware. It is interaction between the humans and machines, tools, equipment and instruments. Mismatch can happen when there is lack of tools or when the person is not familiar with the tools, equipment or instruments. Next comes the interaction between liveware and environment. It is the interaction between the humans with physical and organizational environment. It relates to effect of lighting conditions, noise levels and temperature on humans. It also covers the effect of company norms, rules and laws. Mismatch in any of these can cause an accident. Last is the interaction between liveware and liveware. It is the interaction between humans in the aviation system, like technician and supervisor or engineer. It also includes intra-group and inter-group interaction. In this, mismatches can occur due to lack of communication or lack of management support. Remember that, Shell model explains interaction of liveware with the other components in the aviation system. And any mismatch between these components can lead to an accident. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more videos.